What's going on everybody? So here we are finally getting this video out to you guys. I've been trying to get it uh, going and this is for the DD-15 Jake brake or the DD-15 um, exhaust brake adjustment. Now this is the book I use literally for everything, okay? I recommend it. If you work on DD-15s, DD-13s, this is the book to have. They have a, a complete set which covers a lot more than just what you see here, which would be engine, air, cooling, and lube. Lubrication. <laughs> so again, EPA 07, EPA 10, and GHG 14, which pretty much covers like everything from 2009 up to 2015, 2016, right around that ballpark. Okay. And again, a book I recommend. It has literally everything you need in there. Everything from here, take a look turbos, water, valve adjustments. Timing. I mean, literally, it's everything that you need in there. So again, this is the book I use. Um, I'm gonna again. I'm gonna go over the exhaust. I'm gonna explain it to you the best way I can. Very simple. Very easy to do. I recommend doing your valve adjustment first. Okay, get that done. Get that out of the way, and then do your exhaust break. What's going on, everybody? So we are finally making a video on the valve. Sorry, not the valve adjustment. The Jake brake adjustment on a DD-15. Now it's the same thing, whether it's a DD-15 2009, 2010, 11, pretty much the same unless otherwise. So this one I believe is a 2012. And again, we're gonna do a Jake break. So I'm just kind of showing you the same thing over and over while I talk, trying to burn up some time. So what you're gonna to need to remember is when you're doing your adjustments. Okay guys, so again, when you're doing your adjustments, what you're going to need to remember is the firing order, okay? If you're familiar with engines, everything has a firing order. And in this case, it's 153624, again. One, five, three, six, two, four. Okay, now why is that important? Because that's how you're going to adjust your Jake brakes. Do your valve adjustment first, and now we're gonna do our Jake brakes. Okay, I always wanna start with number one. So as you can tell, this is our intake side, that's our exhaust side, right? And this is our Jake brake. Okay, now there are two sizes you need to be familiar with as far as your clearance or your lash is concerned, okay? Now right now, again, we're gonna do number one, and what I like to look at is the lobe, okay? I'll, I'll show you the instructions and all that, but just kind of bear with me as I'm trying to figure out how to explain this as easy as possible. Again, you can see the lobe right there, okay? This is on one and also on number one. Remember, there's two valves per, per cylinder, so one and one. So if you look right there, not quite ready yet. When that lobe is tra travels max height, okay, stop there. So before it goes any further down or any further up, stop. Okay, that's kind of like a TDC, if you will. Once you do that, then you're going to go ahead and adjust your Jake brake on that one cylinder, which in this case will be number one. Then once you do that, you're gonna rotate the engine just a little bit, and you're gonna do that to the number. Okay guys, I hope you can see that again. We are now rotating the engine just. Okay guys, so take note, this is the direction the engine needs to rotate. Look at the cams, look at the gears, look at the way they're going. That is the correct way to rotate the engine. If they're going the opposite way, then obviously it's incorrect. Stop and go back the other way. Sorry, to the number five. Do the same thing. Rotate the engine a little bit more to the number three so on and so forth. So it's easier if you have two people doing that. So we're gonna do this right now. I'm gonna show you how I do it. And hopefully it's clear. If you have any questions, as always, hit me up, but uh, let's get started. Okay guys, so as I mentioned, it is a lot easier when you have two people because one guy gets to rotate the engine while the other guy on top is actually looking at the max travel or you can use a dial indicator, whatever works for you. And again, once the intake is at maximum lift, so this is our intakes, again, firing order, one, five, three, six, two, four. So number one, once it's gone maximum lift, again, so this doesn't go any more up and it doesn't go down. So right when it kind of meets that little happy spot, that sweet spot, stop there. And then that's when you're going, go ahead and check your Jake brake or your exhaust brake, okay? Now you're going to need one of two, okay? Depending on the year, depending on the engine serial number will depend on which one you're going to use. The older trucks, 2009, 10, 11, and 12, I believe, are gonna be using this one. And then newer ones are going to use this one, which is a 4.6 millimeter. I think this is a 4.2 or 4.1. I'll double check my book in a second. 
But again, based on your engine serial number will de determine which one you are going to use. Very important, okay? So again, I'll repeat it. Newer engines, typically your older engines, based on your engine serial number. So it's very important you know which one applies to you. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this is the one I'm going to use, but I'm gonna verify that with my engine serial number. That's the part number, okay, 407. It probably crosses over or supersedes as something else. Don't really know. That's just kind of the way things work. Okay, that's, that's the tool itself. It doesn't really give you the size anywhere on there, but that's it right there. So what you're gonna to want to do is real simple. You're gonna get your tool and you're gonna go ahead and slide it in right in there. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try and hold the camera. If not, I'm gonna put the camera down, get it in there, and then I'll Unfortunately, go. I could not actually record as I'm doing it. Uh, but again, that is how the lash or the clearance is measured. So if you're able to slide that in there with a little bit of resistance, that's it, it's done, okay? Depending on how you do your jake, some guys do it tight. Obviously, you don't wanna do it too tight. Loose, well then what's the point of having a jake break? So you gotta find that little spot, you gotta adjust it, and again, that's how it's going to go ahead and go in. So again, I'm trying to get you the best angle. So that is the number one, that's fine. There's no adjustment needed. So now we're gonna rotate the engine a little bit more and we're gonna go to the number five, okay? And again, look at the lobe, see the lobe down there? Let me see if I can get a better shot there. Okay, there we go. See that lobe? Anyway, right there, see that lobe? Once that lobe again starts to travel up, when it's maximum lift, stop right there, check and adjust your jake. And then again, do the same thing all the way through. So again, you're gonna do one, five, three, six, two, four. That's the firing order. Once you're done, you are done. There's nothing more to do, nothing to calibrate, nothing like that, okay? So again, I'm gonna go over it a little bit more, try and clear this video up. I know I'm trying to uh, record and it's dark inside because it's been raining out here a little bit lately. So anyway, there okay, you guys, so as I mentioned, I'm not going to bore you. I'm just going to kind of give it to you straight and tell you exactly what you need to do. So what you're going to do, again, since you're going to be adjusting or starting with number one, cylinder one, you're going to rotate the engine, or it should pretty much be right there ready for you, is you're going to look at the lift on the intake. Okay, look at the lobe. So the lobe is going to push up, okay? When the lobe stops to push, but before it starts to kind of come back down on the other side, stop, that should be your maximum lift. Now you could use a dial indicator. Uh, you could try to eyeball it. You will see that it won't push up anymore. And then you'll see that, hey, it's gonna start kind of coming back on the backside. Obviously you've done that, you've gone too far, but let's just assume for the sake of this video, maximum intake lift. When you've done that, stop right there and make your adjustment on the engine brake again. Grab your tool, whichever one you're going to use. Again, either 4.1 or 4.6, okay? Once you've done that, make your adjustment. You feel comfortable with that. Then you start to borrow over your engine and then start with number five. And the same thing, look at the lobe on number five, on the intake. Once that reaches its maximum lift, again, on the back end of the lobe, stop, make your adjustment, torque it down, and then move on to the next one, which again, one, five, three, six, two, four. That's pretty much it. Once you've done that, your Jake brakes are now adjusted. There's nothing more you need to do. You don't need to go into the computer and make any changes like that. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna try and put this all together. Hopefully it's uh, pretty easy to understand. If you guys have any questions, as always hit me up. I try to get back to you guys as quickly as possible. But uh, if you like the video, great. Let me know if there's something missing. Let me know. You know, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Thanks for watching.